Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, what is a double refusal? Or can I refuse both FSTs and breath? In order to prove that you were driving under the influence, the state is going to have to establish two things beyond a reasonable doubt. The first is that you were in actual physical control of a motor vehicle. And the second is that at that time, Either your BAC was 0.08 or higher, or you were under the influence of alcohol or a controlled substance to the extent that your normal faculties were impaired. Most times, actual physical control, or APC, will not be at issue. But the second element, whether or not you were intoxicated or impaired, that's usually the only issue. In order to prove this, the state needs to do one of two things. They either need to establish tangible evidence that your BAC was 0.08 or higher, which can only come from breath or blood testing, or they need circumstantial proof that you are under the influence of alcohol or a controlled substance to the extent that your normal faculties were impaired. If you blow 0.08 or higher, then you yourself will have armed the state with physical, scientific evidence that establishes a presumption of your impairment. Now, you can cross-examine or offer evidence of your own in rebuttal, but if the jury buys the breath card, then it's game over. If you refuse, then absence the existence of other damning physical evidence, like an open container or a bag of weed or some loose pills, the state is going to put on a purely circumstantial case with no physical evidence and relying entirely, 100%, upon the observations and conclusions of their law enforcement witnesses. Cops are always going to loud an overwhelming odor of alcohol, your obvious bloodshot watery eyes, your slurred speech, and the reason you were stopped in the first place. But without FSTs to rely upon, the state's case is significantly weaker than it is with them. Why? Because if you also refuse FSTs, then the cops cannot drone on and on and on about your inability to follow their simple plain instructions or to perform the standards. Every case is unique, and I am not telling you what to do. But in the hands of a skilled defense lawyer, double refusal cases tend to make the state's case exponentially more difficult to prove. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.